Hey, what's up, y'all? I am coming back at you with another super cool, super cheap, super stylish thrift vid. I know you've all been waiting for the next one, and I don't blame you because I am a fashionista. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not going to make you sit through another 15-minute intro. I'm just going to show you what I got, and that's that. Oh, surprise, before I get into it, I have some more to say. So basically this time I spent $36. I didn't get a whole ton of stuff, but I got like a ton of stuff for the price, which is why I love thrift shopping. So I'm gonna jump into it right now. Okay, starting off simple. You know, I love my black lacy tank tops. So I couldn't pass this baby up. This is just a plain old, classic black lacy tank top it does have some ruching i think that might be i don't know exactly what that's called but basically it kind of pulls in on the boobs to make your boobs look better and it does an amazing job if you ask me um i'm a big fan of this i really like this this is super cool to me so yes i will be wearing this a lot i love wearing plain black tank tops if you didn't know it's pretty clear but yeah this is amazing thank you oh this from the brand attention i don't really know much about that brand i think it might come from a i don't know where it comes from maybe like kohl's or something i don't know if you know tell me but i'm a fan of this these next two items have kind of a funny story basically i already have both of them but for one reason or another I just can't wear them like I would like to, so I'll explain them when I show them, but I saw them at the thrift shop and I was like, I gotta get these because I can wear them and I want to be able to wear the clothes that I own. So the ones that I do have that I can't wear, I'm probably gonna get rid of, probably gonna donate them. They're not the highest quality, so hopefully somebody else can figure out how to fix them and get use out of them. This first shirt is just a plain old Rue 21 shirt. I got one of these like years and years ago, probably when I was in like seventh grade, maybe a little bit older, probably like 10th grade. I got one of these and I really loved it. Like I wore the shit out of this thing. I really love the lace details, the floral. I love this line that goes down the middle, but since I wore the shit out of it, it got like real fuzzy, like it got pilling and stuff that I couldn't get rid of, and it just didn't look so hot, and then I was still wearing it because I was like, yeah, I love it, but then I got like a big ass stain somewhere like right in the middle, and I could never get it out, so when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, a new one that doesn't have a stain. I better grab that. So I did, I snatched it up and it's mine now, so sorry. This second one, I got the same one more recently, but um, it was a little bit tight. It is a little bit tight. And I ended up getting a stain on that one too because I'm a sloppy piece of shit. So when I saw this one that was um, a bigger size and more loose and didn't have a stain, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just snatch that puppy up. So that's what I did. I snatched this one too. And um, yeah, it's got another one of those ruching or whatever it's called. This one also makes my boobs look great. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, I love the ribbed texture. You know, I love my ribbed textures. I don't wear a whole lot of colors. <laughs> you couldn't tell by that last shirt that I showed, but I don't. But muted like burnt oranges, I do like that. So yeah i got this bad boy and i'm a big fan i like this i like this oh yeah by the way this is from no boundaries <sighs> still a stunna these are still no boundaries is hidden i swear i used to judge no boundaries so much but now that i'm looking at their tank tops i'm like okay i see what you got going on i'm cool with you now you're doing your thing no boundaries and i like it and i'm gonna do my thing while wearing your clothes okay this next one is Plain old American Eagle. Ooh, hold on, got something on it. I like this. I like those, you know, what is this? Is this Rouge too? What is this? I don't know. I like those like spandex tops with little ruffly ruffles or peplum, I guess. Is it considered peplum if it's not structured? I'm not sure, but I really like this. It's a small, so I didn't think it would fit me, but American Eagle's got my back because this bad boy is stretchy, so. Yeah, it did fit me and it's super cute and I'm a big fan. I love this. I love this style of shirt. I mean, normally I tuck my shirts in, but when I have one of these bad boys, I do not. 
and I like this. So, yep. Yeah, I'll wear this a lot. Oh, also, if you catch me sniffling a lot, it's not because I'm sick. There's something wrong with me. This nose hole, for my entire life, this nose hole is stuffy. If you have this experience or you know what this is, please tell me because it's annoying. I don't have any allergies that I know of. It's winter and it's here in the summer and it's here in the fall and it's here in the spring. And it's been like this forever before I got my cats. So I don't know what it is. Somebody please tell me. I'm begging you. If you know me, you know I'm queen of the flannels. I will wear a flannel all day, every day. I love flannels. They're comfy and I'm always cold. So, and you can take it off if you get hot. So flannels and cardigans have my heart. And everybody needs a classic black and red flannel, which I didn't have up until now. You know, I have so many flannels, but I didn't have one in this color and I almost left it but I'm glad I got it. This is just a plain old Adam Levine and it's nice. It fits me really well and it's comfy and it's got the pockets that, what is the point of flannel pockets? To hold a pen in? I've never used a flannel pocket before, but it's got them just in case. Yeah, I like this bad boy. I'm gonna get some use out of it. Thank you, Adam Levine for giving me your flannel. It was very nice of you to get rid of it and donate it to charity. More people should support Adam Levine. Also, Adam Levine, if you're listening, I loved you in Maroon 5. Thank you. These next two shirts are kind of a conundrum because they look exactly the same in different colors, but they're two different brands. What I'm thinking is one brand made it and then sourced it to other brands and those brands acted like that was their style, maybe? I don't know just uh get my cogs turning up there trying to figure out what's going on here but anyways i really like the style so i got both of them one of them fit me and one of them didn't so this is the one that did not fit me i actually like this one more i prefer darker colors so i'm sad that it didn't fit me but it's really cute it's kind of got like a y2k thing going on maybe maybe i'm not studied up on my y2k enough there's a lot to look at here you got the sheer ruffled sleeves, lace. You got the lace the built-in bodice type thing. I really like this style where you got your boob slots and then whatever this is. It's very complimentary on the body. And then we have this pattern on top of the lace, which you would think that's too much. You gotta reel it back a little bit, that's too much. But I don't think so. I like the way that they pair and I think it's very pretty. And then you also have this slip underneath to make sure that it's not see-through, which is very innovative and smart. This one is by Y Studio. So you see, there's a tag, Y Studio. Okay, keep that in mind when you see the next one. This one, the exact same shirt, exact same. Look, the ruffles, the bodice, the pattern over the lace and the sparkles. Now tell me, this isn't the exact same shirt. This is. It's the same one. It's just a different color. But look at the tag. Rave Studio? No, this is the one that fits me, obviously, as you can see by that over there, where I am modeling it. Someone has some explaining to do. Why is the same shirt in two different brands? I don't know, but my assumption is whoever donated one of them probably found the same style and really liked it so they donated the other and i snatched up both of them but it's too bad that only one of them fit but i still take what i can get i love it thank you these next two pieces i got after i checked out yes after i checked out i'm embarrassing i checked out and i was like okay i'm ready to go and then i was like but wait I didn't look at the men's section yet and <laughs> stupid i love the men's section i got this in the men's section i love the men's section why didn't i look so i went back and looked and it was really embarrassing checking out because he was like oh back again i see and i was like i didn't look in the men's section okay <laughs> i had to check out again because i found these and i love these and i couldn't leave without them so yes i checked out twice judge me for it whatever 
first piece. I love this. I think this is super cool. I actually had a shirt kind of like this in my last thrift haul and I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I like it, but it has quickly became one of my favorite shirts. Just in case you haven't seen my last thrift haul, this is the shirt that I'm talking about. So when I saw this shirt, I was like, okay, we got a different collar, which I actually like a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it because it looks pretty similar. And I, I like the stripe. I like the style. It kind of reminds me of like cool 90s, like cool 90s skater fashion, which I don't think you would catch a skater wearing this in the 90s, but I do think you could catch a skater wearing this today. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got an interesting fabric. You know, I don't know how to explain this, but I like it. This is by Pierre Cardin and uh, this solid shirt. I like this. I'm going to wear this a lot. This very comfy. 10 out of 10. I like it. Next one, I almost didn't get. I almost didn't get it. And if I hadn't gotten it, I'd be kicking myself in the butt. I'm a big fan of this. Okay, brace yourselves. Get ready for this. This this look at this look at this sweater this is amazing i literally have been looking for cool grandpa sweaters why on earth did i even think about passing this up look at this is this not one of the coolest sweaters you've ever seen look at this this fabric look at this detail look at the knitting the, the colors on the gray the colorful gray i I'm amazed. I love this sweater. And whoever owned it before me, not to sound gross or anything, I haven't washed it yet because whoever owned this before me, this smells amazing. This, it smells like an old country store. It smells like maple wax melters. It smells delicious and I think I'm gonna wait a while until I wash it because this is what I want to smell like all the time. Whoever donated this, thank you. This is, this is nice. I'm going to wear this a lot this winter and I'm not gonna wash it ever. Oh, also, can't forget, this is the brand Botany 500, which I've never heard of before, but I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for more of these awesome sweaters because I'm a fan of Botany 500. I am a fan. Quick intermission before my last piece. I forgot I had one home good. This was only 29 cents. I assume it was from Walmart. Look at this. This little pumpkin mug. It's so cute. Um, my house is kind of like a fall themed, if you will. Fall theme mixed with Victorian, mixed with emo girl, mixed with taxidermy, mixed with bones, mixed with fall. So this was a no-brainer. Um, 29 cents. I had to grab this. I don't know. I I don't know the tag. I'm not gonna rip that thing off right now, but that looks like maybe a Walmart tag to me. So yeah, I'm I like this. I like this. I'm gonna drink tea out of this. This is the last piece. Congratulations if you've made it this far because I am very annoying and I wouldn't blame you if you clicked off of this earlier than now, but I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you're still here. Thank you because not many people can make it this long, so congratulations. And you get to see one of my favorite pieces. This, this beautiful, beautiful evening gown. Do I have a place to wear an evening gown? No, I do not have a reason ever to own an evening gown. But did I get it anyways? Yes, because what if someday I have a place to wear an evening gown and I don't have an evening gown? Well, I got myself covered because I got an evening gown. This is actually my second evening gown, which I've never worn the other one yet either, but I'll be prepared when I become a rich old philanthropist's wife and I'm invited to a lot of yacht parties and galas and things like that. I'll be prepared.
Anyway, so as you can probably see, there are some issues with this. I might see if I can go about fixing where it's kind of coming up, but that's okay. I love her for who she is. We got this cool feathery material. I wouldn't say it's real feathers, but it's a feathery material on top of velvet, which I love my velvet. Um, there is one slight issue with this. It doesn't fit me the best. It almost fits me. It's like so close to fitting me, but it does not fit my bosom. Like the whole thing is stretchy, but then when you get up to this part, it's not stretchy and I assume because of the feathers, but that's the part I need to be stretchy. That's the one part that I wanted to be stretchy. But I have high hopes that someday my boobs will shrink enough or possibly that I could maybe make it into like a, a lace up back, you know, so that I can wear it. It's like so close to zipping up too. It's like this far off from zipping up all the way. I got my hopes up. I think that it'll fit someday. This is from the brand Roberta. I have a feeling it's old because of the tag. It does not have any kind of date it does need some cleaning there's a couple spots on the front i'm sure it's gonna be hard for you to see but it's dry clean only so i think i'm gonna try to clean it with a wet rag possibly and i hope that that gets the spots out because they're not super bad so i got my hopes up for that too i love it i love it and pray for me that i have a reason to wear an evening gown someday congratulations you have made it to the end of my video if you stuck around until the very end, you are the strongest of strong. You are the smartest of smart. You are the coolest of cool. And you can put up with a lot of annoyance and stupidity. And props to you. Props to you. Because I wouldn't have stayed this long. So, nice job. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, bye.